today I will be showing you how to pair the BT40 Bluetooth adapter to your Yealink phone. To begin with, you're going to want to unbox the BT40 adapter. Um, the adapter looks like this. It looks like a USB, and you'll see the top on the top. That indicates which direction we're going to plug it into the back of the phone. On the back of your device, if you turn your phone over and plug it in this way, and you can see top. Top is all the way in. That's the only thing that you can see that indicates that it's in all the way. Go to menu. Use the arrow keys. Go to basic. Click OK. And here you have two options. You can press number six, or you can use the arrow keys and scroll down until you get to six. Press six, and you see that Bluetooth is currently on. If it's not on, if it says off, all you need to do is click switch, and it turns on. When it's on, you're going to see three options, Bluetooth, paired Bluetooth device, and edit my device information. We're going to want to go to paired Bluetooth device, OK. And you're going to want to grab your Bluetooth. In this case, it's just a simple Pentronics legend. We're not going to use the dongle that came with this. We're basically going to manually pair the device to the phone, much the same way you would pair it to a mobile phone. So you're going to want to make sure it's turned on, blue lights on, and you're going to want to press the long function key. You may hear a beep. Depending on your device, you may hear the word pairing, but you're waiting for a flash. See how it's flashing blue and red? That indicates it's in pairing mode. So click Scan. It picks up the device. Then click Connect, and it's connected. And it, the light on the device simply starts blinking blue to indicate that it's connected. And you're going to see a green check mark, which is hard to see in the video. But on your phone, there's a check mark indicator that indicates it's paired. If you exit out, you're going to see the Bluetooth device um, has changed color slightly, and there is a green check mark box. It's hard to see, but it's turned blue, and there's a green check mark. That indicates it's paired correctly. To use the device, you're going to want to make sure your headset button, which is located right here, is turned on. Um, green is on. So this needs to stay lit all of the time when you're using your device. It doesn't mean that the device is always on. It just indicates that it's connected to the headset. This is how you control the headset. So as long as you see the headset button and the Bluetooth button, that's all there is to pairing the BT40 device.